uh, can you make milk uh, with that? Can you do it? No. Oh no, just the espresso machine. Yes. Okay. So yeah. so one of the one of the the uh, kind of strategies that we used to make this machine cheaper and still very high quality was to focus on just, just one uh, yep. the, the minimum number of features. So yep. yeah, it has no no milk and it also has uh, some other limitations, uh, but those were intentional uh, because what you what you want is the machine to be as simple as possible, yep. and especially for a first run, a first um, iteration of the machine. So down the road, when we're comfortable with the mechanism, we can start adding features, but doing too much in a product that is new, is just a recipe for, for a lot of problems. So your machine only does express only? That's right. Okay. It does not have grinder, right? There's no, no grinder. grinder. So no. you just kind of, kind of like one trick pony, correct? Just That's right. one thing, just make espresso. Exactly. You know, okay, yeah. Let's talk about your machine. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Morning. So you have, I see your fellow kettle there. Yeah. You got fellow kettle. Did I see, well, your P64 on the side? That's right. All right. You got P64. Okay. You have a very nice black theme going on back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's kind of the, uh, another goal with the machine was to kind of fit nicely into uh next to the product that i like the most well who is your main target audience for this the target market demographic yes so um our goal is to uh to to target the prosumer uh, uh -huh. who understands coffee and they they've been playing around with coffee for a while yeah but they can't afford uh, a machine that is three thousand, four thousand dollars. Yeah, that's right. Um, so I think there's a big gap in there. Uh, so you kind of have to, if you start with the Gaia like I did, and you kind of start your way up, uh, you kind of get stuck around thousand dollars, and you have to make a big jump to yeah. two thousand, twenty-five hundred dollar machines. So uh, the the idea is to bridge that gap and build something great uh in the a thousand to fifteen hundred fifteen hundred dollar uh range so yeah so one one thing about this machine is that it has an integrator the under the drip tray okay um so we can actually use it to dose our coffee uh so you can't see it right now it's it's small uh but in here I, I have the weight so I can just uh... okay I got you okay so you have a built-in scale so you can weight that okay yeah okay, by the way so when it comes to water temperature uh, you say well how many sensors do you have on the machine a eight temperature sensors eight different sensors Wow yeah we're measuring water at different yep. levels throughout the cylinder because since hot water raises um, you can't really know the the temperature in your vessel with only one sensor you need to yep. know the gradient exactly. and then we have a few more sensors to monitor the heating element and also another sensor to measure the uh, water while brewing Okay, so so how fast is that? So you put the hot water in. Obviously, you have to put the boiling water, correct? About yeah, boiling. Yeah, we are and very in in Puebla. We are very high. Uh, it's one of the highest cities in the world. So water oh, boils boiling. here at ninety two degrees Celsius. Okay, ninety two Celsius. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So you, gotta, so you account for that, right, on your PID system there. Yes, we can. We can. Uh, we can use any temperature. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. So. So you're gonna lock it in. Yes, and we have an integrated valve uh, okay. that closes when the piston is at the bottom. Okay. So internally, this is uh, a lever machine. Lever machine. Uh, 
So we have a, a piston in the back that's okay. pushing up, and then a rocker mechanism in here that is transferring uh, the the force down. Okay. Uh, so essentially, it's doing what what you would do with the lever. Exactly. And, yep. and it's just pressing with a plunger. Okay. And then uh, when that plunger is down, the valve is closed. So once I pour water, the water yep. is not going to reach the coffee until I I uh, the, the, the coffee the brewing process starts okay. and the piston lifts. All right, let's see it. So All now right. put the water in. Uh, what what is your beer material on your uh, on the casing there? A what? What's the beer material? This? Yeah. It's steel. Oh, steel. Okay, got it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That is a good size machine, though. Uh, right next to your P sixty four. Yes. That's is. that is not small coffee machine. No, it's a little on the tall side. Yeah, um, we are working on reducing it uh, about half an inch for the okay. production uh, model, and we think we we're going to be able to to do that just to to have uh, a little more clearance in in your counter. Uh, in the app, um, we have control of uh, we can create essentially infinite stages uh, of pre-fusion, infusion. We okay. can have uh, complex triggering. Uh, so it, the the system, what we built first was the operating system. Okay. And it's very complex and sophisticated. We, we are able to, to control the machine to very high precision. Um, but we're obviously uh, allowing people to create profiles very easy. So this is the current version of the app, and it allows you to set a pre-infusion uh, flow uh, curve, and so you can create like any curve you want. Yep. And also, uh, you can do that for infusion. I have it set to pressure control. Okay. So, uh, so I, this is calibrated, I believe, for seven bars. Okay. And seven bars. Four, four milliliter per second pre-infusion. Okay. And then we have a a trigger here, a, the stop weight of 0.2 grams. So okay. this means that after the first drop is detected, it will switch into infusion. Wow, man, Carlos, that is a lot of technology behind it. Yeah. A lot. So, yeah, so uh, now I can just start this. I will start heating. Right now it's at six, 67 degrees. Yeah. Um, so it will. The, the machine was cold uh, when I poured the first um, water. So it will take yep. a little bit to to heat up. Yeah. So in there here you you'll see. Yeah, I see the temperature going up there as well on the top. Yes, uh, temperature is 71. I know if you're able to yep. read that. Yeah. And then the weight is at zero, and we have a trigger for 33 grams. Okay. Uh, it takes a few grams to stop. Uh, yep. So the goal is to have like 36 in the end. Exactly, correct. It's about, yeah, three or four grams the triggers. Yep. Yes. Um, yep. Yeah, and we are working on a predictive. Uh, trigger so that it's more precise. But right okay. now it. Okay, so is a uh, is a Android and iOS or just uh, the both? Apps? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So the app is built. Uh, it's a hybrid app, okay. so it will work on Android, iOS. It will also work on your computer. computer. Um, it will work. Yeah, on phones, tablets, essentially anything that has a web browser will be able to run the app. And, and then, for iOS and Android, you will be able to download from the app, the app store. And also, you guys have that community that people can share the recipes and profile? Exactly. Yeah. So uh, from the app, 
uh, you will be able to cr create complex profiles yep. and share them. And uh, right now, also right now it's, it's starting. So you can see the piston moving up. Oh, wow. There we go. There we go. Goodness. And then you have the telemetry. It's reading all of the sensors and you will be able to see. Man, what a... So you're gonna get a pretty much perfect shot every time then, isn't it? That's right. You know, it's like you're having a level machine, you know. If you are, exactly. if you have your grind size to fine, you know, you can actually, you know, slow down your pressure. Man. Exactly. So you can see the, the stub weight was thirty seven point seven. Yep. And yeah, the the, the, the copy. That is very, very interesting. Okay. Yeah, that that is really. That's another level right there. Okay, that is another level. Here. Yeah. Uh, we're doing. This is the whole profile. So, for example, in this case, uh, it's interesting because you can see these dips in pressure. Yep. So that might be channeling. Sure. And. When when channeling starts, uh, we actually have it, it compensates, so it mm -hmm. it can help you rescue a a bad prep. Uh, so yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah, it, it kind of adapts and uh, helps you brew better, even if your prep is not perfect, your grind is not perfect. It can it extends uh, the kind of the tolerance for it for error uh, so if you're not perfect with all of the other steps the machine can compensate a little yeah. bit 